We're seeing a couple of warmer days, but don't let that fool you. Winter is right around the corner. And that means it's time for Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert's winter weather forecast. Each year for my winter forecast, I set aside all the computer models and scientific methods and do a forecast based on natural signs. But before, I thought I'd check and see what people are really looking for this winter. I'd like a Texas winter, 70 degrees and sunny all winter long. I would like to have a sunny, warm, 60 degree weather all winter long. Hopefully not too much snow. I'm, I'm really not ready for ice or anything. I want Christmas snow. Ooh, Christmas snow? Yes. Well, I'm just moving here from South Carolina, so I haven't seen snow in a while. So I'm thinking a snowy, snowy winter. So there seems to be a difference of opinion about what kind of winter we should have. And the signs seem to disagree as well. For example, these flowers have continued to bloom well into November. And my mom's roses also had a second bloom late into the season. That could mean a very cold winter. The persimmon seeds I've looked at almost exclusively show spoons, which could mean more than average snowfall. But this hornet's nest is pretty close to the ground, which could indicate a below average season of snow. And here's something I haven't seen in quite some time, a mostly white woolly worm. The other woolly worms I've seen have been a mix of black and brown. Squirrel's tails are about average, but there are a lot of acorns. There are a few other things I take into consideration, like the phases of the moon and the time that the moon changes its phase. Plus, I think this year we could see a big difference between the north part of the viewing area and the south part of the viewing area. And it's also possible some of us may be dealing with more ice than we have in past years. December. December temperatures will be about average. Precipitation, above average. The 1st to the 7th, cold with flurries. The 8th to the 14th, fair. The 15th to the 21st, snow and breezy. The 22nd to the 28th, snow and colder. That means we could have a white Christmas. And the 29th to the 31st, rain-snow mix, possible ice and breezy. January. January temperatures will be about average. Precipitation, above average. The 1st to the 7th, breezy, cloudy, snow, especially around the 3rd to the 5th. The 8th to the 14th, flurries, turning cold and windy. The 15th to the 21st, snow, especially near the 21st. The 22nd to the 27th, fair, a little bit warmer. And the 28th to the 31st, windy and turning colder. February. February temperatures will be about average, precipitation above average. The 1st to the 7th, very cold, clear, then warmer. The 8th to the 14th, breezy, snow and colder. The 15th to the 21st, breezy with flurries. And the 22nd to the 28th, rain, snow mix and possible ice. So in conclusion, I think it's important to remember not to take this forecast too seriously. I do it for fun, mainly, to see if old ways of forecasting match up with modern ways of forecasting. Sometimes the old ways can be just as reliable. So here's what I think is going to happen. I believe that the temperatures this winter will be about average, but precipitation will be above average. But just because precipitation is above average doesn't mean we'll have more than average snowfall. And as one wise old man once told me, we'll know for sure in April. For Storm Team 10, I'm Kevin Orp. All right, now is there a way to so print all that out, put yes, it on our yes, refrigerator? Yeah. It'll be on our website, WTHITV.com. I don't know if it's there right there, but uh, you can print it off. It'll have the dates and so on, and a little more information about the moon, because I mentioned that uh, some of my forecast is based on the phase of the moon and when the moon changes its phase, the time. Sure. So. And remember, if you don't like the forecast, don't blame him. Yeah, about it. you're in Indiana. It'll change yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And I want to thank uh, Jaron and Tony and Everett for helping out with it, too. It's great. Good. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's take a look at what we have coming up here. Uh, 